you mentioned that through these practices we would um, maybe we wouldn't respond negatively to things going on around us or pe- other react to others anger and that kind of thing what about our reactions to the positive emotions of others um, does that level out as well um, such that we don't feel our children's love as intensely, for example, as we <laughs> otherwise might. And if we um, became a different person, um, how would that affect our relationship with our families? Now, uh, I was not talking about you becoming insensitive to life. I was talking about you become more by choice not being pushed by anything around you. So when I say not being pushed by anything around you, whether your neighbor's anger pushes you or your child's love pushes you, it is still not okay. Now, you respond to your child's love, that's different. You respond to your neighbor's anger, that's different but you are being pushed by this or that, both are not good, isn't it? Isn't it so? There are a lot of people who are compulsively reacting to their loved ones in a certain way. They think it's very positive, but they are terrible human beings for the other people in the world, isn't it? Yes? Somebody in trying to be overprotective about their family, aren't they doing a lot of terrible things to everybody around them? That's simply because your life is happening as a reaction, not as a conscious choice. Whether it is negative or positive, you must respond consciously, isn't it? So your energies are organized enough that you don't become an instant reaction to anything. Anything that comes, you have the little space within you to respond consciously. So whether it's your child or your mother or God himself comes, you must respond consciously. It's important, isn't it? For more on Sadhguru, visit www.ishafoundation.org.